the striking physical abnormality that afflicted one ancient Egyptian Pharaoh would have set him apart from his peers Relatively little is known about his actual reign But a group of scientists have now confirmed that he suffered from a rare medical condition and they believe it's the oldest such case ever identified Published in the medical journal the Lancet in August 2017 their findings are based on a forensic analysis of what are believed to be the Pharaoh's malformed bones the study appears to have settled a long-running debate among Egyptologists and experts in ancient diseases In fact the findings not only offer fascinating historical insights, but may have important therapeutic implications Studying the evolutionary development of diseases is of importance for today's medicine one of the study's authors Michael Habicht of the University of Zurich told the website live science the Pharaoh known as Senacht is believed to have reigned during Egypt's third dynasty around 2700 BC This period marked the dawn of high civilization in the lower Nile Valley a 500 year era known to Egyptologists as the old kingdom or the age of the pyramids It was characterized by dramatic transformations in architecture and economy However, Sanak's exact place in the dynasty is disputed Some Egyptologists say he actually founded the third dynasty Citing claims by Manetho, an Egyptian priest who lived during the 3rd century BC. Others point to recently unearthed evidence that strongly suggests Sinacht reigned during the dynasty's later period. Likewise, the duration of Sinacht's rule is strongly contested. Manetho's claim that he ruled for 18 years seems dubious because few relics survive from his reign, unlike some other pharaohs of the same period. Of course, Manetho lived some 2,000 years after Sinacht meaning his account is unlikely to be entirely reliable In fact the entire reign of Sinacht is something of a mystery Depictions of the Pharaoh have been identified at the archaeological site of Wadi Megara in Egypt's Sinai Peninsula Suggesting important connections with that place The acquisition of mineral wealth especially turquoise was probably one of his chief concerns Meanwhile even Sinacht's burial site is disputed in 1901 scientists identified a tomb near the site of Beit Kalaf, which contained an abnormal skeleton Many researchers think it's Sinacht. However, others believe that the tomb belonged to some other person of importance a prince queen or high official But assuming the skeleton does not belong to Sinacht, It's doubtful that his abnormalities carried any social stigma in ancient Egypt Generally speaking physical malformations of the kind he suffered were widely tolerated Man is clay and straw, the god is his builder, wrote an ancient Egyptian called Amenemope. The wise man should respect people affected by reversal of fortune. In fact, some conditions, including those which might be considered handicaps by modern society, were actually revered by the Egyptians. One example is dwarfism. Dwarves are depicted on at least 50 tombs in Giza and Saqqara. And they apparently fulfilled a wide variety of occupations from fishermen to royal servants Indeed dwarves were so respected in ancient Egypt that they were even elevated to divine status Ptah a god of rebirth and creation was occasionally depicted as a dwarf as was Bess a god of sexuality and love However, Sinacht was not a dwarf. In fact, he experienced an entirely different condition the alleged Sa-Nacht Probably had gigantism wrote the scientists in the Lancet Truly being the oldest known paleopathological case in the world The fact that he was buried with honors in an elite mastaba tomb Suggests that gigantism at the time was probably not associated with social marginization In fact their analysis of Sinach's bones revealed that the Pharaoh had a height of just over six feet one inch Sinach was therefore tall by modern standards, but by no means a giant after all the average height of American men is 5 feet 10 inches By ancient Egyptian standards however Sinacht was relatively colossal According to Habich, the average height of Egyptian men during the period was 5 feet 6 inches Since pharaohs enjoyed better diets than commoners one might expect them to be taller than average However, Sinacht was in a league of his own the next tallest pharaoh was Ramses the second at 5 feet 9 inches he ruled a thousand years after Sinacht. Well, Sinacht would have certainly cut an intimidating figure. There's no indication that his height conferred any unique privileges. 
While short people were much preferred in ancient Egypt, especially in the early dynastic period, wrote the authors of the study, we have no records that very tall people had any special social preference or disadvantage. Gigantism is caused by an excess of growth hormone and it can result in body heights of up to 9 feet. Though its origin is sometimes genetic, it's usually caused by a tumor in the brain's pituitary gland. Gigantism starts in childhood, while acromegaly, a related disease which also causes excessive growth, begins after puberty. In fact, a beach study resolves a long-running debate as to whether Sanat suffered from gigantism or acromegaly. Indeed, the oldest known evidence of acromegaly significantly predates Sanat. Discovered in New Mexico, the remnants of a person who lived around 10,000 years ago showed signs of acromegaly. Sadly, gigantism and acromegaly can cause a range of associated health problems. The effort required in moving a large, heavy body places particular stress on the bones and heart. However, in ancient Egypt, there would have been no effective treatments available to Sinacht, either surgical or pharmacological. Meanwhile, giants have featured in a number of ancient legends around the world. The archetypal giant, known as Gigantus, from which the word giant is derived, is one of many in Greek mythology. In the Bible, Goliath was a giant and Philistine warrior, famously slain by David the Israelite. Sanat may not have been a giant by modern standards, but his place in ancient history confers him a kind of mythological mystique. Presently, we know very little about Sanat, the giant, but with any luck, archaeologists may be able to tell us more about the mysterious pharaoh in the not-too-distant future.